Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set and adjust the pitch and phasing on a Skookum Robotics SK720 equipped flybarless heli. Proper pitch and phasing settings are key to the tuning and handling of your heli and are covered in the SK720's swash and cyclic setup wizard. Our first tip for adjusting pitch and phasing is to use a master blade. What I mean by this is to mark one blade on your heli with a felt pen or small scratch on the center of the blade grip. Make all the measurements and initial adjustments on this blade and then adjust all the other blades to this master blade. This concept applies to all rotors regardless of how many blades it has. Moving on to adjustments mentioned in the setup wizards, I'll start off with checking and adjusting the collective pitch. Our first step for this is zeroing the collective pitch. With your SK720 in setup mode, your transmitter turned on and the servos powered, set the collective stick to zero degrees. Next, measure the collective pitch on each blade using a pitch gauge. To do this, set the gauge to zero and check if the gauge's edges are level. You can use a line in the room that you know is level, or use a bubble level. If you've leveled your swash plate according to the swash and cyclic setup wizard, you'll be able to adjust the pitch mechanically, removing the ball joint and adjusting the linkage until the gauge reads zero pitch. Once your collective pitch is zeroed, you need to check your min and max collective pitch. Ideally, the min and max collective pitch on your heli will read around 12 degrees plus or minus, but the value you choose really comes down to personal preference. Measure the collective pitch at full negative, then full positive collective pitch, and adjust the pitch accordingly. Adjusting the collective pitch isn't done mechanically, but in the swash plate tab of the SK720 software. Adjust to the collective pitch range in the swash mixing field to set a proper collective pitch range. Next, you'll need to measure and adjust your max cyclic pitch. The first step in this is to align one main rotor blade over the tail. Ideally, use the master blade you marked earlier. It doesn't matter which blade you choose if you're using a rotor with more than two blades, you'll still set your cyclic mixing using one blade over the boom. To hold your blades at their max cyclic pitch, connect your SK720 to your PC, turn on your transmitter, and power your servos. In the utility menu, select Hold Maximum Cyclic. Measure the cyclic pitch with the pitch gauge, then adjust using the aileron and elevator mixing fields. The elevator and aileron cyclic mixing fields adjust simultaneously. You should try to keep them below 70% to avoid any unwanted interaction when applying max collective. Once you're finished adjusting the cyclic pitch, reset your SK720 by selecting Reset Gyro in the Utility menu. Moving outside of steps mentioned in the SK720 setup wizards, we're going to adjust blade phasing. To see if your phasing is correct, hold one blade over the boom. The blade shouldn't move at all when you give any elevator input. On most helis, you can correct the phasing by making sure that the linkages are parallel to the main rotor shaft. If you have a multi-bladed scale rotor head and can't adjust the linkages parallel to the main shaft, you can adjust the phasing using the phase trim function in the swash blade tab. If your phasing is off, your heli will oscillate like a top that is slowing down. However, you probably won't notice this effect until the phasing is off by 5 degrees or more, and your heli will be controllable with the phasing out by as much as 15 degrees. Finally, we'll adjust the tracking. Set the collective and cyclic sticks to their centers, giving zero collective, aileron, and elevator pitch. Check that both blades are at zero pitch, and if one blade is off, adjust it to match the master blade that we marked at the beginning of the video. If you're using a head with more than two blades, you can adjust each blade at their linkages. That's all for now. If you need more setup or troubleshooting advice, be sure to email us at info at skookumrobotics.com or check out the wiki at www.skookumrobotics.com. Happy flying!